everything that you notice in the Quran and in the Sunnah, everything that Allah asks us to do is for our best interest. Everything. And there's nothing that Allah asks us to do that is not for our best interest. Even things that appear to be very difficult for us to do. It doesn't say it, uh, Allah is doing it for our interest. Think just a couple examples. And tasumu khairu lakum in kuntum ta'lamun. And that you fast is better for you if you but know it. So everything that Allah asks us to do is for our best interest. Now shaitan, he tricks us. And he makes us to believe that these things that we can get immediate pleasure, he makes us think and deceive us to think that that's for our best interest, but it's really not. Let me tell you something, brothers. I swear by Allah, there's nothing better on this earth than a beautiful marital relationship. To have a wife or a husband that you love together, loving each other for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that you do outside of those boundaries definitely won't bring you pleasure. I was listening to Professor Jackson yesterday. Remember how he, notice how he's talking about um, going after things and you looking like you really want to get it, but it seems like the moment you get it, well, you no longer want it. This is the deception of this world. You ask these men who run after women, one woman after another, you think that they're happy. They'll never be satisfied. They will never be satisfied. These people going after drugs and thinking that the drugs is going to make them happy, they will never be satisfied. They go after one high after another, after another, one woman after another, and they will never be satisfied because they're doing something against their very nature. But yet, get a man and his wife together who love each other for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they find love and joy and peace with one another if they do it within the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, how can we get to that plane to want to strive higher? The question is, what price are you willing to pay? The one thing that we learned about anyone who wanted excellence in anything, there's a price that you have to pay. No one can get it without striving for it. And the number one thing that you have to do, you have to pay the price. And the price is time. The price is time. Are you willing to pay the time?